At a bustling hospital, a sudden intrusion occurred. As a dog dashed in, causing quite a stir among the staff. Attempts were made to shoo it away. Yet one nurse ventured closer, discovering what the dog clutched in its mouth. The sight moved her to tears around 6 a.m. Jack the dog had his routine breakfast quest, commencing early to avoid human activity. This timing ensured his meals without interruption, sauntering casually to the rear of restaurants. Along Brunswick's main street in the United States, Jack, though not disdainful of humans, harbored a wary sentiment toward them. Nine years of street life exposed him to their potential for cruelty and disregard. Often, he was the recipient of their heedless actions. Yet, there was one indebtedness he held toward them there practice of discarding food scraps daily. Amongst those bins, his senses heightened. Behind one lay an old blanket, something moving within, approaching cautiously. The scent, distinctly human, didn't sit well with Jack. But as he investigated further, a different essence pervaded unlike any human aroma he'd encountered. Instincts alerted him to something tiny, fragile, and in need of aid. Even if it were human, the situation was dire. Without intervention, the life within the blanket would perish. After a brief contemplation, Jack nudged and repositioned the bundle, carefully gripping it in his mouth before lifting it. A stray dog now on a mission. He sensed the fragile entity inside stir momentarily. Then go limp. In his canine understanding. It was time for his next move. Though early. The restaurants were closed. Meaning no humans were present yet. Despite his desire for indifference. Jack acknowledged that human assistance was essential. The tiny form within the blanket wriggled, reinforcing the urgency of his task. Several blocks away, there stood an unfamiliar building where Jack occasionally scavenged for food. Experience taught him that humans frequented it at all hours. Within five minutes, as he approached, confirming his hunch, a multitude of humans bustled around the area some milling in the parking lot, others hurrying through sliding doors. A loud, red light flashing truck startled Jack, prompting him to head directly for the entrance. Inside Brunswick Hospital, amidst the changing shifts, an ambulance delivered a patient to the emergency room. The nurse at the counter urgently paged the on-duty ER. Doctor when she spotted the dog, immediately alert and wary. Despite the hygiene concerns, a dog in the ER would undoubtedly create a disruptive situation. Something unwelcome in such a focused environment. The nurse, steadfast in maintaining order, stepped out from her station, immediately attempting to drive Jack away. Ignoring the bundle in his mouth, she aimed solely to remove him. Jack contemplated abandoning the blanket and its contents. Yet against instinct, he sought another human. Dodging the irate woman, he hurried into a nearby small kitchen where three women were engaged in conversation over coffee. Initially unnoticed, Jack faced the same dismissal attempts from two of them. However, the third woman, Observing him with curiosity, reacted differently. With a soft demeanor and a quizzical gaze, she approached Jack. His intuition picked up on her gentle nature, prompting him to permit her proximity, ensuring her undivided attention. He delicately laid the bundle on the floor and retreated a step. Angelina Potter 
a long-standing member of the Brunswick Hospital staff, found herself in an unprecedented situation after nearly a decade of service, proficient in understanding canine behavior. She recognized that the dog's actions were directly related to the bundle it carried. Observing Jack's deliberate yet yielding behavior when placing the bundle on the floor, she realized its significance drawing conclusions from the condition of the dog's coat. She noticed the dog's stray status but was cautious not to startle the animal. Aware of the urgency to retrieve the bundle from the floor, advancing slowly and maintaining a calm tone, Angelina attempted to communicate with the dog, which responded by stepping back. Sensing the dog's intention to grant access to the bundled blanket, she understood it wouldn't relax until she inspected its contents. Kneeling down, she gingerly unwrapped the layers her eyes welling up with tears even before revealing the final layer. What she discovered left her stunned. Wrapped within was a newborn. Just a few days old. Barely breathing with blue-toned skin from the cold Angelina sprang into action. Urgently directing the nurse to summon a doctor. Emphasizing the critical condition of the infant she began rubbing her hands together to generate warmth. Tapping the baby's chest and feet in hopes of a response. Despite the lack of immediate reaction. The baby had a heartbeat. Instilling a glimmer of hope. When the doctor arrived Angelina stepped aside as he conducted a thorough examination. Confirming the infant's heartbeat and searching for. Signs of breathing. The doctor swiftly wheeled the gurney away. Angelina let out a slow exhale. Redirecting her focus to the dog. Angelina commended Jack for his extraordinary actions. Extending her hand in an attempt to connect with him. This was uncharted territory for Jack. Who typically avoided such contact. However. He felt a unique connection with this woman. Sensing her kindness. What followed next would alter his entire life. As Angelina approached with her hand, Jack gradually relaxed. She gently placed her hand on his head, then began stroking behind his ears, aiming to establish trust, wanting to reward Jack for saving the newborn's life. Angelina knew it required building trust first. Jack had already decided to trust this human. She found the spot behind his ears he adored in. As she reached for her coat, Jack stayed close by her side. With a fondle of his ears, Angelina invited him to accompany her. Understanding her gesture, Jack followed her out the door. Three months passed, bringing substantial changes for the stray dog, the rescued baby, and Angelina herself. Jack had found his permanent home with Angelina adjusting beautifully to his newfound life. The surprises continued when Angelina returned from work one evening carrying a familiar scent. Recognizing it immediately, Jack couldn't contain his excitement. The little human in Angelina's arms was the same one he had rescued from the alley behind the Italian restaurant. Sitting together, Angelina cradled the infant while Jack rested at her feet. Just three months prior, her life had felt solitary. Now, all thanks to the courageous and compassionate acts of this remarkable stray dog, she had a family she cherished deeply. It was a beautiful conclusion, transforming her life in ways she never imagined. Would you have approached the dog as Angelina did? Or would you have tried to shoo it away from the hospital? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And see you next time. The publisher of this work is used to dealing with people from all walks of life. But this work does not seem to be very refined. It may look like a masturbation video. But the content is that the desperate goose needs help and is. 
very fast approaching the police. May 9, 2016 Was an ordinary Monday for longtime investigator SGT. James Givens of the Cincinnati Police Department. As he was resting in the stationary patrol car, he heard strange knocking noises. It didn't sound like someone was knocking on the door. But when Givens looked out, he knew it. Instead of a man or a woman, he saw a mad goose. He guessed maybe the goose was really hungry. So he gave it some food. I was sitting in the patrol car in the parking lot and I heard something pecking at the side of the door and I looked down. And it was a hungry goose. Givens told United News. Bagel. So I tossed a piece of it because there was only one left. Something had clearly ruffled the bird's feathers. If they don't eat at all. Then their approach to humans may be trying to tell us something. It kept pecking. Givens explained. And then it walked away but stopped and looked back. So I followed him. It turned out the goose was desperate to guide him to a situation that required a human intervention. He soon understood that the goose was a mother goose. And one of her young was in trouble. The little creature's only hope of salvation is the dexterous hands of man. The gosling got stuck in a string attached to a Mother's Day. Balloon near Mill Creek in Cincinnati. Givens. For his part. Had followed the mother goose for about 100 yards by the time he saw the goslings kicking. It took me straight to it. He told local Channel 12. In an interview with United News Magazine, he said he didn't know why the goose called him and he didn't drive away. They were very close to me in the police car. And I was just surprised why it didn't attack me. I was a little nervous. Givens was right to be cautious. So before he got involved, he thought it was the ASPCA's job. But there were no rescuers nearby. Another officer, Cecilia Sharon, who happened to be in the area, agreed to go to Gosling to join Givens in coming to his aid. Givens recorded the rescue on his phone as it approached the Gosling. Givens then uploaded the video to YouTube where it was viewed more than 3 million times within a few days. The news has since been picked up by outlets including The New York Times and Huffington Post. The Cincinnati Police Department is proud of its officers' actions. NLT. Call. Paul Nittigate. The department's assistant police chief. Thanked Sharon for his excellent work on Twitter. Social media users went crazy for the video. With some commentators calling the Cincinnati police the best in the world others strongly agreed. And they paid homage to Charlie who brought up Bad Cop. And Goose Cop YouTuber. Meanwhile Givens was a little taken aback by the fact. That the Goose understood that he and Chilon were there to help. I always thought they were afraid of humans and people said if you got close to their cubs they would attack you. He told local Channel 12, a vigilant mother goose keeps her distance as Chilon holds the gosling and slowly frees it from the rope. Givens thinks Chilon's maternal instincts may have been recognized by the goose during the rescue operation. Givens told the TV station that mother goose didn't bother her and that it took her a while to end the rescue. In fact the YouTube video was over 3 minutes long. However, while the story has a happy ending, its rescue underscores how dangerous balloons can be to animals. According to the US Fish and Wildlife Service, other creatures such as birds and turtles often try to eat balloons, which can be fatal to them. The officer later said, when Chilon untied the gosling and put it on the ground. It was the most memorable time in almost a quarter of a century. That Killen rushed to the creek with his mother. This is its most memorable experience. 
Gibbons wondered. Do they know to turn to humans when they need help? The events of May 9th may have left the officer pondering the answers to those few questions. But Gosling's rescue certainly had a positive impact. He added. I hope this inspires compassion in others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.